Dude, she bit me so hard that I yanked her hair to get her off of me. Shaken and outraged, a mom attacked on the job, then she says fired for what happened. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Now the 62-year-old convenience worker wants to know why. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at that store on Silver Star Road in Hiawassee tonight. So, Eric, tell us what exactly happened. Well, Tammy Flaherty is this woman's name, and she's worked at this Circle K behind me for the last 10 years, Lisa. Uh, she says she's had some temperamental customers over the years, but on Tuesday she said she actually had to be hospitalized. And today she found out she was fired. What did I do to deserve this? Tammy Flaherty says she was working with a customer who had debit card issues on Tuesday afternoon at this Circle K on Silver Star Road in Orlando. She says when she went to clean up a spill in the back of the store, the customer came back. And she grabbed my hair, she bit my arm, she punched me in the face, she cut me here and here, and she took off. Flaherty says she called 911, and according to a report filed by the Orange County Sheriff's Office, deputies couldn't find the customer, but they got a copy of the store's surveillance video to help identify her. Four days later, and still in pain, Flaherty says she found out the attack cost her her job. I'm terminated. For what? Because of not following the rules. We contacted the manager at the store to find out which rules she violated, but the manager said no comment. So we sent some emails and called and left messages with Circle K Corporate. Thank you for calling Circle K Stores Incorporated. But they have not responded to our request for a comment or explanation. Flaherty says she didn't put up a fight with this woman, and she says she wants to work. I want that job. I'm working there because I need it, not because I want to get beat up. Now, Flaherty and her husband say at the very least they want Circle K to help pay for her medical bills, and right now they're looking for an attorney to help make that happen. In the meantime, Orange County Sheriff's deputies are looking for the woman who did this, and if you have any information that can help them, give them a call immediately. We're live in Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Lisa, Matt. Eric, thank you.